What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to your Monday player pack reviews. And we're going to be taking a look at Beckham, Gerrard, and of course Lampard. Level guides, we're going to be showing you the training, the bills for him, the best stats and skills to give him. Shout out to OC as well for the bills here. We are going to see all the players fully beasted and boosted up. You've got Beckham, lads, who's going to be a cross specialist. He's got edged crossing as his showtime skill. And of course, you've got Lampard and Gerrard as well. Now, Lampard and Gerrard are more of kind of like... They're not as good as Beckham. Gerrard is a very unique attack and build of Gerrard. But Lampard and him are very similar in how they play and how their play styles are and how they're set up. I would say Gerrard is definitely the pick of them over the two, right? But Beckham is definitely the main draw. Gerrard is definitely one of these underrated players that I don't see a lot of people use. And even when I was using him, I thought he was exceptional. But I just stopped using him. I don't really know why. I suppose it's just because you have so many players at your disposal that you do kind of cycle in and between them. But yeah, Lampard and him are box to box. I'm not going to waste any time with this trailer. We're going to go straight into the builds. We're going to show you the, the stats. We're going to show you all the players, right? And not going to waste any of your time. Let me know if you're going to spin for these boys as well, right? Now, these are in a box here of, of English players. You've got Declan Rice. You've got Menu, You've got Kanze. You've got Kyle Walker. They're all going to have fairly decent levels. 37 level overall Kyle Walker is pretty decent Manu has got 30 levels uh, Tony with 29 and a lot of people are looking for him but it's going to be all about 35 level Gerrard 34 level Lampard and then Beckham who's got the edged crossing showtime skill the rest of them don't have Gerrard and Lampard don't have an ex a, a showtime skill right we're going to start with Lampard I'm not going to overcomplicate this I'm not going to waste your time right we're just going to get straight into the guts of Lampard Gerrard and Beckham and show you guys exactly which one is best, which one is worth training if you do spin. Now, if you spin and you get these in early spins, they're all going to be very good players to have either on your starting 11, to have a bit of crack with. Listen, we're not that far away from eFootball 2025, you know? Have a bit of fun with these players if you do spin. And of course, let me know if you're going to spin or not. If you're thinking, nah, I'm not going to spin until eFootball 25 or I'm not going to spin at all, let me know in the comments below as well your thoughts on eFootball 24 right now before we get into eFootball 2025. But yeah, this Lampard is pretty decent, right? Now, you're going to need to put a bit of work into him. But he is a pretty decent card, right? And we're going to show you what he turns into. So you've got a very nice card there that is going to have 90 tight possession with 88 low pass or lofted pass and finishing with 90 low pass. Ball control going to be 93, kicking power 90, stamina good, speed, acceleration pretty decent. Not going to be as good as Stevie G, but of course it's going to be complemented by his skills and his booster there, right? So it's not that bad of a card really when you look at it. But a lot of the problem with Lampard is that he's not a whole player. And it is down as a box to box. And he literally has no defensive cover whatsoever. So yes, you can give him a couple of additional skills. We'll do that at the end. We'll show you the builds. But with Gerrard, you don't have these issues. Because Gerrard is going to have his defensive stats all over 70 off the rip. His speed and acceleration is going to go into the 85 zone where you need it. And the rest of his stats are going to be right there as well. Plus he has the shooting uh, box to box build that you're going to go for here. Is going to be kind of like advancing into the box to score. While still being very solid when you give him interception. He already has fighting spirit. So yes, he is low lofted. Yes, he is weighted and first time shot and rising shot. He doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a concern. But I would argue, and I would only argue it a little bit, but one touch pass has lost its proficiency a little bit. It's not as... They've kind of messed up the passing a little bit too much, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. But I think that they need to kind of switch up the passing and how the passing moves and travels with these high-rated players. Whether or not they're going to be zippy passes for eFootball 2025 and not into the passing lane. We'll do a video on that. We'll talk about it later on in the live stream as well. But this is the Jarrah build that you can go for here. We'll show you the, the stat progression in, in, in just a minute. But that is the build that you can go for there. 90 acceleration, stamina over 90. And then, of course, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and finishing all 90 plus. Huge. It's a huge card, especially if you're looking for something a bit different as a box to box, with more of an attacking option there. And then, of course, we have Golden Balls himself, Mr. David Beckham, the cross specialist, looking nice with the skinned haircut there. And, of course, the booster that we're going to get on him is going to be crossing. And he also gets edge crossing as a player skill for the showtime. And he's pinpoint crossing, way to pass, low lofted. And, of course, he does have early crosser and long ball expert with his AI playing styles. Means he's going to pick up lovely positions when you're not controlling him and just be able to put the ball in. Now, I reckon that at the moment with the gameplay, it isn't going to be that good to have this build of Beckham as a cross specialist because crossing is a bit busted but for eFootball 2025 I reckon that they'll switch that up a little bit and this Beckham could be you know god tier in the first week or two of eFootball 2025 putting him into the players that can hit the ball right very very good card he's down as a cross specialist he can play CMF right wing or right mid extremely good card and this is what he can turn into 85 speed and acceleration 90 kick and power 91 stamina balance at 84 
and of course finishing at 83 they're the only two stats that don't get to the threshold of 85 where we want them but look at the rest of the stats man absolutely insane now there's a couple of alterations you can make with these builds depending on whether you shoot a lot you can up his finishing a little bit and take down his uh, acceleration because he doesn't get the 85 balance or offensive awareness anyway but you can still have the acceleration at 85 you want a slower base player you can take down a bit of acceleration and give it into his passing or finishing if you want to shoot or pass a little bit more but 90 low pass is more than enough there's barely any boost gone into that's like two points so yeah i mean it's a phenomenal card right and then also we're going to take a look at the skills as well before i show you the progression so these are the skills as they cycle through again they're fairly self-explanatory you're giving interception to jared and lampard if you want to give Beckham ball roll, you do need to give him every single one of the skills. So double touch and soul control are there. Knuckle shot outside corner interception. Instead of interception or knuckle shot, you could give him flip flap to have ball roll. And again, for Lampard, it's going to be more about kind of like that interception build. I don't really rate Lampard as much. I know some people will like him, but I don't rate him as highly as Jared or Beckham. I think that's just fairly... Uh, self-evident there but phenomenal cards no real weaknesses in the cards really for how the game is playing at the moment you don't need a massive amount of speed unless you're playing a center forward or a right or left winger um and that's not where beckham's strengths lie anyway it's more about passing and being you know like possession based so they are the skills and then last but not least we are going to show you the builds right so these are all the builds that you're going to see here uh for lampard beckham and jared as i said varied up a little bit if you want to, if you want a, a bit more into shooting for beckham to you know max out his finishing uh the same with jared or lampard you can do that you know use this as a guide but these are probably the best builds i would go for for him just try these builds if you're struggling with the free reset just try them um you know all my builds are usually tested for how the player should perform within a system obviously there's variations to it you know some people like to play possession and hold on to the ball some people like to play a lot of quick build-up play you might find that you will be a little bit more direct with certain players so you don't need as much passing if you play possession or you might need a little bit more speed and dexterity on Beckham if you want to be a little bit more rapid and have him as a kind of a right wing option there's different builds that you can go for but this is a good base you can tweak it yourself and see what the stats are looking like and vary him and compare him with other players that are beasting for you but let me know if you're going to spin or not lads or if you're just you're going to wait until leave football 2025 let me know the crack and i will be back in a live stream in a couple of minutes well in a couple of hours i should say not a few minutes but later on we will see you with the live stream hopefully don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think of these players